Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. Please like and subscribe the channel for the up further updated videos. This is Aishwarya. The following video is for class 1, subject general science, chapter 5, keeping clean, part 2. Now, in the part 1 of the lesson, what did we learn? We learned that we should keep ourselves and our surroundings clean. If we don't clean it regularly, a lot of germs will start growing and we will fall ill by when the germs uh, enter our body. So to remain healthy, we should maintain the personal hygiene. Personal hygiene means how to uh, the ways that we keep ourselves clean. So to keep ourselves clean, we should brush our teeth every day in the morning uh, and, at, and at night before you go to bed. We should take bath every day. Then we should shampoo our hair twice a week. Then wash your hands before and after eating your food. We should cover our mouth when we sneeze or cough or yawn. And then we should keep up we should trim our nails regularly and we should never bite your nails right yes so now uh, continuing the lesson i would request you to follow the video with the textbook so it will be easier to follow the lesson now we are going through page number 47 personal hygiene personal hygiene refers to the habits that help us to keep ourselves clean and healthy. The personal, personal hygiene means the habits, the, uh, the habits that help us to keep ourselves clean and healthy. If we are clean, if our surrounding is clean, it is germ free, we will all be healthy. Isn't it? Yes. So, uh, we all have skin in our body, right? As soon as you touch your both your uh, both hands with each other, what you can feel is nothing but your skin. Your whole body is covered with skin. So, skin protects our body from all the germs and infections, right? So, our skin protects our inside of the body from the germs and infections. So, we should keep, it is our responsibility to keep our skin skin clean that means you should wash your body every day to remove germs from your body our skin protects us from lot all the germs and infections if we don't have skin we will um, it will be very bad it uh, the germs will enter our body very soon our skin always protects us from germs and infections so we should clean our body often now, uh, we all know that what all things we do to keep ourselves clean. Now, what do animals do to keep themselves clean? We are going to see what are the ani what do animals do to keep themselves clean. Uh, yes, animals also clean themselves by grooming themselves. Now, you uh, you might have seen the birds, right? Uh, but sometimes you can see them dipping themselves in the water to take a bath just to clean their body they just dip in the water in a river or in the ocean somewhere they just dip their body so that they can clean themselves then elephants take bath in the rivers you can see the picture how the elephant is taking bath it takes bath in the rivers they all like water and they like playing in the water just like us Monkeys groom each other. They groom each other. They clean each other's body. All the germs, the insects on the uh, insects or small insects that are present that will be present on the monkey's body is cleaned by each other. You clean uh, each other. That means one monkey cleans the other and like that. That is called monkeys grooming each other. Then cats and dogs clean themselves by licking their bodies you might have seen cats and dogs no they they keep licking their bodies that is the way they clean their body especially the cats you they they lick their ba uh, kittens too kittens means the cats babies are called kittens so they lick the kittens so that they can clean the babies too they do not use any soap like us or take a bath every day 
Animals and birds clean themselves in their own way. How we clean ourselves, we take bath, we um, use soap, water, all these things to clean ourselves. But animals are not like that. They just lick themselves on different forms of way to clean themselves. Now, just like our body, we, keep, we should keep our home also clean. Just like our body, we should keep our home also clean. Now, what are the things that you should do to keep your house clean? Of course, I'm sure whatever I'm going to tell now, everything you, uh, you in your house, you see it every day. First thing that you should do is sweep and mop your house daily. Sweep and mop your house. This keeps your house floor clean. Uh, usually, we walk on the floor, no? So, there'll be a lot of germs in the floor. So, you should sweep it and mop it with your in your house every day every day sweeping and mopping should be done then use a dustbin now uh, there is dust you should use a dustbin and it should dustbin should be kept covered okay dustbin all, always should be kept the uh, kept, it should be kept covered and uh, use dustbin to throw all the wastes in your house. Some uh, you, you can see two different dustbins here. So green dustbin you can use it for all the wet waste like the kitchen in the kitchen whatever waste is there that you can put it in the green color and all the other plastic waste you can put it in the blue color dustbin. And the dustbin should not be dirty. You should keep it clean. After um, after two th after two days of using the dustbin, you should wash it, dry it, then you continue using the dustbin. Then make sure you that the toilet is always clean. Always flush the toilet after use. Keep the toilet floor dry because lot of there is possibility of lot of germs growing in the wet floor of the washroom. So your washroom floor should be dry and always flush the toilet after use. Flushing the toilet is a very very important role that you need to play. Everybody should know to flush the toilet after use. Do not allow water to get collected or stagnant. Now, usually what happens in your pot, under your pot or somewhere in your house, there will be small, little waters that will, water that will get collected and remain stagnant. What happens this uh, water where it is, aware, wherever it is present, the stagnant water is place where these monkeys start, uh, sorry, where the mosquitoes start growing. So, to avoid that growth of the mosquitoes, you should not allow the water to get collected. Then, make sure that there are no insects and pests in your house, like the, uh, the web the spider web or the cockroaches all these things show that the uh, house is unclean so you should keep the house clean that means you should get rid of those insects and pests some houses will have rats that is very very bad some houses cockroaches you should not have cockroaches cockroaches spread lot of diseases house flies and the mosquitoes all these things are do grow in the houses but if you keep a clean house all these things will not be present a clean house helps us to remain healthy. We should keep our house clean and make it free from insects and pests. Insects and pests also carry germs. So, we should see that there are no insects in your house. A clean house helps us to remain healthy. A, a clean house means a clean mind. A clean mind means we can learn well, we can play well, we can um, eat well, good food right so you should keep your house clean you should keep your house clean and you should keep yourself also clean every day you should it is necessary to clean yourself to remain healthy thank you children stay at home stay safe take care of yourself and keep learning